Welcome Geese 4x4, your source for all things excursion. And today we are gonna go over why I did the axle swap on this truck. Uh, I realized and I was told by a couple people that they go, you know, you never told us why exactly you did the axle swap. And I know uh, that it's talked about on the forums a lot of, let's do the axle swap, let's just, just swap the axles, it'll fix everything and it'll fix the wander and it'll fix all that. Um, well, I'm here to tell you why, and I'm here to tell you, you know, give you some information as to if you actually want to do it. I know that this is not for everybody, uh, 110%. Uh, I don't know that everybody, or I know everybody doesn't have the means to do it. And then I also know that everybody doesn't want to do it and that's okay. Um, but I'm going to tell you why specifically I did it on this truck. So let's start in the rear. Well, no. Let's start in the front um, because that's the main reason, okay? So the front is coil sprung. Uh, and the biggest deal for having coils on an off-road rig is getting more down travel. Um, we get tons of flex out of coils and we don't get as much down travel flex out of leaf springs. Hopefully I can tag a video clip in here and I can show you guys it picking the rear up. Um, and the hope is that the front will stay on the ground. The biggest, biggest deal is the suspension difference, right? So coil springs. Um, the secondary things uh, happen to be it's a, got a little bit bigger brakes, quote unquote. Um, I did measure them. I showed you guys that in, I'll link the video up here. Um, you know, some more coil swap information thing. And uh, they're not that much bigger. So I don't really know why everybody talks about that. Um, and then the other huge thing that I didn't even realize was gonna be such a big deal was the turning radius, guys. Uh, the turning radius of this axle, I don't know if you've ever driven, if you've ever driven an 05 plus Super Duty, um, they turn so much better than the uh, Leaf Sprung pre-05 Super Duties. They changed the knuckles a little bit so that they could actually turn. And these axles are wider, okay? So another reason, another one of the big reasons I did it personally, I wanted more width because I wanted to be able to push these tires in there without some crazy offset wheels. Uh, make them clear everything. I wanted to turn tight. This this 40 inch tire will turn lock to lock without the wheel spacers on on a factory wheel from this era truck. Um, the reason the wheel spacers are on actually is because the rear. Uh, the rear was so close to the inner fender, even with the wider axle, uh, that I just didn't want to run it. So uh, we did wheel spacers. And that'll end up being my offset. I really like the way the tire pokes out and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, essentially, yeah. So there's the main core things. Here's another big deal. So in 2005, every Super Duty with a coil spring front end got a Dana 60, okay? The excursions come with a Dana 50 from the factory. Um, now that is considered a three quarter ton axle, but the gears inside of it, um, the it's, it's kind of a Dana 44 with some three quarter ton stuff on the outside. I know that that's not all the way true. I know that those axles can be really, really strong. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm just spit, spitting there, but but that's kind of your comparison, okay? So if you're gonna run big tires, you need big axles. And for me, uh, I needed big axle to run big tires. So uh, anyway, that is exactly why the front. Now, let's go to the back. So the rear does not need to be done when you are doing this swap. The difference is, remember that three inch difference I was telling you about? Uh, yeah, so the rear is also three inches wider than the, the original axle. It is the exact same. That is a Sterling 10.25 slash 10 and a half. Uh, it's the same axle. Uh, apparently it has bigger brakes too. I think the brakes were actually a little bit bigger in the rear, a little bit more different in the rear than they were in the front. Um, but it, unless you want to run wheel spacers on the back when you do the swap, you are going to want to swap the rear axle too. Rear, rear axle was super easy. It just bolted in and then you change the speed sensor. But uh, you have to watch the rear because 
they switched to ABS telling them the speed at a certain year. And I believe that that was 08. So uh, you can fact check me on that and post it in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Um, and so if you want to do the rear, you want to make sure that you get an earlier axle, you can swap the sensor over really easily and not have to worry about speedometer issues. So those are your main big reasons. So I mentioned Wander. Uh, and so I'm going to answer the question, does it correct all of the Wander? I do feel like this with a coil front end, stock steering box still, so 2000 steering box from Excursion, um, all the new steering from the 05 and everything, not new, I have, I have no idea how many miles are on it. Um, I feel like this truck tracks better. I think that it goes down the road, it doesn't fall into the dips quite as easily. Um, it just feels like it might track better than the other one. It does ride a little bit better. Um, the ride is not incredibly noticeable. Uh, I think, yeah, I don't know. If you're gonna do it for the ride, I, you probably are gonna do different springs and stuff like that. This is stock F250, 5.4 springs and stuff like that. So I think you can make this ride a lot better than Leaf Springs, but in stock form with stock control arms, stock springs, I'm not super impressed with the fact that I don't think that it rides a whole ton better uh, on the road, on the road, than Leaf Springs. Like I said before, the biggest thing that I'm impressed with and that I'm really, really stoked about is the turning radius. Because on the trail, this thing is big. Uh, driving around, this thing is big. I've already noticed it. I've driven, you know, I drove this for a lot you know, last month to Jeep Safari and I drove it around town a whole ton. And then I've been driving the white truck again this month. And I have noticed incredibly that I try and get into parking spots with the white truck. And I'm just like, why can I not get into this? That's how much, I bet it's, I bet it's 15 feet the difference of turning radius uh, between this truck and the white truck. I should I should put the right tires on this one and measure it for you guys and see. Um, but that's with like, that's with the 40s, I bet it's close to 15 feet. Like it's, it's crazy how much less the turning radius is. Um, so anyway, do I think it's worth it for me personally? Uh, I believe that it's worth it for this truck. I do, I am gonna start looking for one for the white truck. I'm not gonna push as hard uh, if they drop into my lap, I am not going to say no. Uh, but I really think that it's the right move for this truck. The getting a three link and getting all that stuff is going to make this thing flex like crazy. And so I'm excited about those things. Uh, I do believe, like I said, it tracks better. I do believe I don't feel any difference in the brakes. I know it steers better. Uh, so anyway, that is why you should consider the axle swap. Is it for you? I don't know. Um, is it for me personally on this truck? Yes. So anyway, if you got some value out of this content, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Uh, and, uh, if you didn't get some value out of this content and you just want to add to the comments and tell me what I got wrong, I'd love to hear it. Uh, always learning. So thank you guys so much. We will see you next time.